What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com, and today we're giving you some guidance to buy with. So, your loved one is into iPhone or iPad, music making, beat making, song making, being a musician in general, and you want to purchase their favorite gift for the holidays, but you're not quite sure which way you should go with it. Well, you're in luck iPadBeatMaking.com has got you covered with a huge list of suggestions ranging from the cheap to the expensive so no matter where you want to go with it you're able to find something within your budget range. This gift guide is for those who want to have impactful gifts but not break the bank. So while there are high-end options for all the categories that we mentioned, please keep in mind that we're trying to get the most bang for the buck and capping the price to $300 per item. So no high-end hype here. Also, we aren't taking Black Friday sales into consideration at this time due to it being a bit unrealistic that everyone will be able to get a doorbuster, limited sales, or all their gifts in a single weekend. But as always, before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please do us a favor and hit the like button. And if you're not currently subscribed and want the ultimate resource for your music production needs on iOS, inspiration, news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of the latest updates. Now first, you can never go wrong getting that special someone an audio interface. An audio interface serves as the gatekeeper between the analog and digital realm, or the natural world and the computer world. It's where audio from the iOS device is converted to play through your speakers, or where your microphone or real instruments are routed into your iOS device. Sounds expensive, right? Believe it or not, you can actually get them for as cheap as $100 without any sales. And they go up from there. They can be as expensive as you can imagine. However, if they are currently completely without an audio interface, these are the top choices that we would go with for under $300. Price low to high, we first of all have the Focusrite Solo priced at $109. Now, the times we live in are just incredible. For less than $110, your loved one can have a great audio interface. This one features one XLR input, which is a microphone input, and one TRS input, which can be used as an instrument input for something like a guitar. This is a good interface if they are usually doing things by themselves, such as vocal tracking or podcasting and not really recording live instruments. A good example would be a rapper who usually doesn't make beats or makes beats but does them entirely inside of the software, a guitar player who sings, or a podcaster or YouTuber who needs just one microphone input. It also has something called air mode, which accentuates the high frequency of the microphone, which usually results in a more pleasing sound overall. Next up, we've got the Evo 4 by Audient, which is $129. Now, we love the small footprint of this device, and it's made by Audient, which has really good reviews on its other interface, the ID4. It features two combo input jacks, which basically means that you can connect two microphones to it, so a keyboard or a synth, for example. It also features a quarter inch jack in the front, which is good for guitar players, but keep in mind that you'll lose one of the back inputs when you plug this in. So yes, it's a two in, two out interface, and it's definitely an incredible bang for the buck. Next up, we've got the Focusrite 2i2, which is about $160. Now, this is one of the big brothers to the $109 Focusrite Solo that we mentioned earlier. This version is nearly the same, except that it adds full stereo inputs, so two inputs, via combo jacks that are both XLR, which is for microphones, and quarter inch, which is for your instruments. Next up, we've got the Motu M2 and M4, priced at around $170 and $220 respectively. Now, we really like this interface. In fact, this is the interface that we're currently recording these vocals on, so that's a testament to how much we like it. It's got a beautiful LED screen on the front that allows you to see your levels and things like that as you're recording. And the build quality, as well as the audio quality, is really good for the price. But no matter which interface you choose out of these ones we've mentioned, you really can't go wrong. They're all gonna sound good. They're all gonna be good enough for a playlist on Spotify, Apple Music, even radio if their track goes that far. So fret not, anything you're buying will be good enough for them to record vocals and instruments with no problem. And also, while this video is really geared for the iOS musician, these interfaces can also be used with a traditional Mac or PC, so you know that your interface purchase is safe for the future and that they'll never just be limited to one platform. Say they like to use a PC or a Mac, 
in conjunction with the iOS device, they'll be able to do that. Say they decide, you know what, iOS is no longer for me. I'm gonna do something on the desktop. They have that option also. So they'll never just be limited to one platform. Now, what good is an interface for your world-class vocalist if they don't have a microphone? Here's a few that might get the job done. Now, microphones can get a little more tricky because the application they're using it for really matters. If they already have an audio interface, they might prefer an XLR microphone, which is usually considered the more pro choice. Whereas if they don't and can only choose one, they might prefer to have a USB microphone. And also, are they doing podcasts or YouTube videos? Or are they rapping and singing? Are they playing an instrument? There's a lot of variations and combinations, but we'll try to help get you there. In addition to USB and XLR, which is what's used to plug the microphone in, there's also the variation of whether the microphone is a dynamic microphone or a condenser microphone. Both of these options are available in the XLR and USB variants, but condenser mics are generally considered better for rapping and singing in areas that are well treated for noise, such as vocal booths or quiet rooms, and dynamic mics tend to be better for podcasting or areas that have more ambient noise or are just untreated. So let's start cheap, ultra cheap. The Zing U condenser microphone on Amazon is priced starting in the $20 to $30 range and these are of the XLR condenser variant. They have a bunch of different kits with things like desk microphone, boom arms, and more. So if they're just getting started out, these offer a great bang for the buck. Now coming in at a whopping $35.99 on Amazon, it's a very highly reviewed USB condenser microphone, the K699B by Fifine. This mic should definitely help someone get off the ground if they're just starting out. Next up, we've got the Amazon Basics Desktop Mini Condenser Microphone, which is $43. And next up, we've got a couple blue mics. First, we've got the $50 Snowball Ice USB mic, and the Blue Yeti Nano, which starts at $100, and the Yeti, which starts at around $129. And this is probably one of the most common USB microphones out there. You'll see these things everywhere from ASMR videos to video reviews to live streams and more. These are also condenser mics. Also on the $100 range, we have the Movo VSM5, which is a condenser mic and it's XLR. Still in the $100 range, we have the Audio-Technica AT2020, which is a condenser XLR mic, and this company has some very nice high-end microphones, with this being on the low end of their offerings but they're well trusted, well respected, and definitely worth checking out. Now in a bit of an unconventional twist, we've got the Shure MV88, which is $150, and it's got a lightning connector, which is perfect if they're doing iPhone work usually, and they're in the field. Next up, we have Rode NT1 mics, which have a few variants, including the Rode NT USB for $170, and the XLR NT1A for $229 and these are both condenser mics. Now, the Rode Procaster is $229, and that's a dynamic mic, which is, again, really good for loud environments or broadcasting or podcasting, and this one is an XLR microphone. And another mic in the dynamic range is the Shure MV7, which is priced at $250, which is a modernized, lower-costing mic that's based on many aspects of the very popular SM7B dynamic microphone. The MV7 features both USB and XLR jacks, but we can't confirm that the USB jacks will work with the iPhone or iPad, but the XLR jacks will definitely work with an audio interface. Again, this is a dynamic mic. And finally, we've got the Apogee Mic Plus for $259, and this is a USB condenser mic. Now, Apogee is world renowned for its A to D conversion and its audio interfaces, and taking some of the technology that they've developed over a period of decades, they've applied that to this convenient little microphone that has a really small footprint, and it's really good for a lot of different applications. And this tiny wonder is also a condenser mic. Now, if you've got a world-class beat maker in the making, they will certainly appreciate a good MIDI controller. Now, we're pricing these from least expensive to most expensive. First up is the Microlab by Arturia, and it's priced at $89, and this little thing was made for travel with a built-in USB cable that actually wraps around the unit, and it's also encased in like a rubbery-ish material so that it's a little bit more durable for the road. We're obviously not saying it can sustain a drop test, but 
it is nice to have these kind of considerations for the traveling musician where light bumps and bruises are bound to happen as they're traveling. Next up, we've got the X Key 25 and the X Key Air 25. These are priced at $99 and $199 respectively. And the X Key Air is able to be used wirelessly with Bluetooth MIDI. And we use the X Key Air on the road and even at home. It's got good size keys and it's designed to be ultra portable. It's definitely a winner for an iPad beat maker or a pianist. The Nectar Impact MIDI controller and Arturia Mini Lab MIDI controllers are both priced at $109 and offer 25 keys as well as 8 pads. Akai's MPK Mini Mark III is $119 and this is a great blend of small and light for travel with its mini keys, tactile assignable knobs, and its drum pads. And then we've got the Alesis VI25, which is $179, and we love the Alesis for its full-size keys and its great drum pads at this price point, although it is a little bit bigger and not necessarily the best MIDI controller to travel with. It is compact enough, though, to fit in a small space for a minimalist, and it has a lot of cool features for the money. And finally, we've got the Sensor Morph, priced at $250. Now, we use this amazing device for everything. It's Bluetooth, it's MPE capable, it has a modular system called overlays that can be swapped out on the fly, so the sky is truly the limit with this. The instrumental on this video was made using it, this video was even edited using it, and using its Mac or PC software, you can reconfigure the controls for your favorite apps. Now for more info on the Sensor Morph, be sure to check out our video review of it here. But if you don't have time to check that video out, all you need to know is it's got so many different capabilities, it really is an incredible buy. Now moving on from MIDI controllers, we're going to suggest a few speakers or what we call in the audio world, monitors, in order to get your iOS music maker started. Now, monitors are incredibly subjective and every musician out there has their own preference so we would tread very carefully here. We're just going to suggest a few on the cheap end just as a start, but you really should ask what kind of monitors or speakers they would like. Usually this involves going to demo them or doing extensive research on reviews because they're really so personal. They vary a lot depending on what type of music this person likes to make. So again, we would tread carefully. First off, for $99, we've got the Presonus Eris. Next up, we've got the Sterling Audio MX3 3-inch Active Studio monitors, which are $109 for the pair. And then we've got the Mackie CR3 XBTs, 3-inch Active Bluetooth Multimedia Studio monitors, and these are $119 for the pair. And what we like about these is that they've got Bluetooth built into it, so say they don't always want to be mixing music in real time. Sometimes they just want to have it available as a playback feature for their favorite songs or maybe their own songs, but they don't want to have to have wired things hooked up to it all the time. They've got that choice via the Bluetooth. And next up, we've got the M-Audio BX3 Graphite 3.5 inch Active Studio monitors, which are $120 for the pair. And for $129, we've got the Sterling Audio MX5. And shooting way up from there, we're just gonna give an honorable mention to the IK Media iLoud speakers, which are priced at $299, the very top of our gift giving budget. But we mention them because they're incredibly unique, they're very portable, and they're very good sounding for the price and the size. They're kind of magical, actually. And we think that no matter what, they'll appreciate the IK Multimedia iLoud speakers because they're so easy to travel with. They've got Bluetooth, they've got so many different ways to connect them. They really are a cool monitor for the price. But with all that said, again, we recommend talking to them about it if you're gonna actually go out and get them some speakers or monitors. Next up, let's talk about apps. Say you don't wanna get bogged down with grabbing equipment or having equipment shipped to them. You just wanna gift them an app and call it a day. Well, you're in luck. When it comes to apps, we could talk about apps all day and we have a pretty useful video on what can be accomplished with an iPhone or an iPad in less than $100 worth of apps in this video here. But we'll highlight a few to help get you started. First of all, we gotta ask, just like the microphone question, what does your gift recipient do? Do they podcast? Do they read audiobooks? Well, if so, look no further than the app Ferret, which is an incredibly capable and easy to use app that is really suited for those tasks. 
Next up, we're going to list a few DAWs that you really can't go wrong with. Now, a DAW is a digital audio workstation, and this tends to be the environment that music is made inside of. Yes, there's ways to go DAW list these days, and things can get as complex or as simple as people would like them to be, but we're going to be really simple and just skim the surface with a few DAWs that will most surely make a good impression for your gift recipient. In order from cheapest to most expensive, we have Zen Beats, Nano Studio 2, Beatmaker 3, and Cubasis 3. Now we won't get too in depth with these DAWs, but we will give you a quick synopsis. Now Zen Beats, which is free to download, but in reality priced at $15 for the iOS unlock, is made by Roland and is really centered around making beats and includes a plugin called the ZC1, which uses the same sound engine as the world-renowned Roland hardware. Now, if your gift recipient has Roland equipment, this might be highly ideal for them. It's also cross-platform, so they'll be able to send sessions from iOS to Android to Mac to PC. The other platforms do cost more money, however, but if they want that option, it's always open to them. Now, Nano Studio 2 is priced at $19.99 and is available for iPhone and iPad, and it's very capable, it's very stable, it's intuitive, and its file organization system makes having an efficient workflow a breeze. It also features an incredible built-in instrument called Obsidian that can be everything from a synth to a sampler to everything in between. But you should note that Nano Studio 2 is currently limited since it doesn't feature audio tracks at the time of this video, but the developer says that they're on the way. When will they be here? We don't currently know, so be sure to keep that in mind. This is not a good app if you've got a person who likes to play live instruments into their iPad or iPhone. Now, Beatmaker 3, which is currently $26.99, is available for iPad only and is the king of sampling on iOS, king of MPC style pads on iOS, and also king of the MIDI connections and assignments with external hardware. It's really hard to go wrong with Beatmaker 3, especially if they specialize in making hip hop, R&B, or more loop based music as opposed to ambient music. Everything is based around those pads and Beatmaker 3 has a lot to love about it. And it's got a well-deserved following and you can check out videos all over YouTube and Instagram and Twitter of people using Beatmaker 3, including world renowned producers and people just getting started. Beatmaker 3 is a great purchase that you simply cannot go wrong with. And finally, we have Cubasis 3, which is priced at $50 and available for iPhone, iPad, and Android. It's made by Steinberg, the makers of a desktop app called Cubase, and this is an incredibly rich and capable DAW. You can make beats in it, record vocals, and record instruments, mix, master, and anything else you can think of. This is definitely the easiest DAW to get into if they're familiar with desktop DAWs. It's also probably the most capable and easy to use. I mean, anyone can use this DAW if they just understand a few simple principles. So if you've got a person who likes to record instruments into the app or just record vocals into the app over the two track, then Cubasis is definitely worth Getting. Now, if they already have a DAW, there's tons of plugins that are available on iOS, way too many to list, but here's a few developers that we recommend checking out to gift. Audio Kit always offers a great bang for the buck. A lot of their apps are priced around three to four dollars, and in reality on desktop, they could easily be 10 to 50 times as much. Tone boosters are also great plugins for the staple things you need like EQ, compression, and reverb. And if they need a little bit of everything, Gospel Musicians has great stuff on offer, such as Pure Synth Platinum, as well as Korg, which has its Korg Module Pro plugin. Or let's say your people are real into synthesis or synths or electronic music in general, then Drambo, Moog's Model D, and Moog's Model 15 are plugins you simply can't go wrong with. And while we're at it, we love Synthmaster Player and Synthmaster One, great arpeggiators and presets. And there's also GeoStred with its amazing touchscreen instrument and MPE instruments, as well as GeoSwamp, which allows you to capture some incredibly realistic instrument playing. And if you got a guitarist, then they're sure to love the Nimbrini offerings, which have really nice amp simulations and are a great bang for the buck. And then there's also, 
wait see we could keep going all day but we don't want to bog down this video with that so again if you want to see how we'd spend hundred dollars on apps check this video out here now what if all you want to do is grab them some accessories or some useful staples that you can't go wrong with well one thing you can't go wrong with is airpods and airpod pros are for sure winners Another for sure winner is the SanDisk Portable Extreme SSD for their storage needs because the reality is iPads and iPhones typically don't have that much storage so getting an external storage device would probably help them out a lot. Also, you could grab a portable Bluetooth speaker like a JBL Clip 3 Bluetooth speaker and the prices of these vary but right now I'm seeing them for around $30 so I don't know if that's the normal price that they are today or if that's a sale price. You could also do a Bose SoundLink series speaker and the prices of these vary because there's different versions of them as well as the Ultimate Ears Boom series speaker. Now I really like these ones because they're waterproof and they're just rugged overall but obviously there's tons of different options here but we're just naming a few. You could also consider grabbing them a case for their iPad. Now on the high end, obviously, we've got the Apple Magic Keyboard series, which is at the very top of our budget if they have a compatible iPad. But similar to that, we've also got the Logitech Folio Touch Keyboard at around 160. Again, they have to have an iPad that's compatible with this. We also really like the cases available at ZuguCase.com. For our iPad, we use the Muse case, which we paid $60 for, and it's the best non-keyboard case that we've ever used. So be sure to check them out. Now, let's talk headphones for a second. Again, these are incredibly personal in terms of preference, but we'll just suggest a couple of the popular ones, but you really should ask them what kind of headphones they want if you're considering going this direction. But lots of people swear by the Audio-Technica ATH M50X, and of course, lots of people either love or hate the Beat by Trays. And another solid option in the $100 range is the Sony 7506s and the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. Just remember, though you should definitely consult your gift recipient before you buy these because these are really about personal preference now before we get up out of here we'll throw one more miscellaneous category out there and that's desk decor you can grab them led lights to set the vibe maybe some live effects or if you want something more budget friendly just go for some budget led strips and you get these anywhere really online there's also the funko pop figurines which always look great on a desk as well as maybe a little desk plan. So, with that said, that is our iOS Music Makers gift guide for 2020. We hope you enjoyed it. Please, iOS Music Makers, please leave suggestions in the comment section of what you also would like to receive for your gift so that maybe the person watching this video who's unsure of which way to go can hear from some of y'all so they can see what you prefer in case we miss something anyways with all that being said one more thing that you could check out for them if they're interested is some sound kits at ipadbeatmaking.com you definitely can't go wrong there's some of the best sound kits available for ios so if they're interested in those definitely check them out we've got free demos also and with all that said i'm gonna get up out of here it's ipadbeatmaking.com peace